Keith from what made you decide to come play for the Lakers? I think last year they went to interest as a well. Yeah. So this year it finally came back around. What made that decision? Um, it's you know, it's at the point in my career where, you know, I'm just trying to win. Uh, I see this team has one goal in mind and um, you know, who would who wouldn't want to play for the Lakers, you know, last year. It's kind of a lot going on. I stay in the tuck type of guy, so you know I didn't really want the attention. So you know I was trying to fill it out. At that time, um, OKC was the right fit for me. What's it going to be like facing the team on the other side here? Uh, it's going to be normal. You know, it's probably like my sixth team, I think. So you know, once you get acclimated, it's all the same thing. Your brother, who said that you guys might be moving in together, and that he's going to be pretty much a Staples Center all the time. What do you envision that looking? How cool is it to be in the same city? Uh, it's pretty cool, man. Um, uh, we, we might let it gather, uh, trying to figure out figure that out now. But it's going to be pretty cool, man. I get to spend a lot of time with my family. Uh, we've been apart for a while, so, you know, whatever time we get to spend together is, is a good time. What's the story behind the uniform? Uh, I changed it from, I uh, had uh, eight over in, in, uh, in the Detroit. You know, I just wanted to change my number for, for the Kobe thing. Forgive me because I don't know the difference between you and Marcus yet, but I'll get there by the end of the year. Um, was Were you at the memorial yesterday? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Um, basically, your first day as on the job as a Laker, what was that like for you? Just no, It was very touching, man. Um, you know, I grew up, uh, obviously, I'm from Philly, where Kobe is from, you know, so we grew up idolizing Kobe, you know. He meant everything to us, you know what I mean? Um, I was just uh, excited to be a part of that, man, be it, you know see a bunch of people talk about him and, you know, just see his last farewell. When you started to work on the agent, to work on the buyout from Detroit, was the Lakers always in mind? But when did the Lakers become mine? Um, they, they always reached out, you know, they just wanted us to, you know, keep in contact with them. Um, it didn't happen towards the end. I was kind of leaning towards somewhere else and then uh, kind of come came up out of that. And, you know, I looked around a couple teams that I had and, you know, this was the perfect spot for me. Was, was your brother sort of a draw, having your brother in town and being able to play him? I think so. I think I had a little bit to do with it, man. Uh, you know, uh, both of us going to be competing for a championship, and I think um, you know we both got a good shot. And uh, you know, I was excited when he came to the Clippers, and um, you know, he was more excited when I came here to the Lakers. I mean, can you just imagine how surreal that would be to be in a let's say a Western Conference Finals with you guys going head to head with a triple Yeah, it, it, it'd be crazy, man. Um, both of us want the same thing, so I know it's gonna be super competitive. Uh, we go against each other, cut through, and you know, eat dinner after. Is there already some trash talk around that? No, nah, we don't trash talk. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do none of that. Not each other. Then. No, no, not each other. We just when we get on the court, we just strap up. You know what I mean? I keep the fact that you did this last year in OKC, you joined the team late. What are some of the challenges of that, and did you learn anything from from that experience that maybe applied? Um, yeah, a little bit, man. It's, it's always hard to get acclimated. Uh, you know, 25 games left, but you know, teams know what they want. And um, for me, me personally, you know, I'm just trying to be the used to the X factor that's needed. Um, whatever is needed out of me, I want to, you know, come in and, and provide. Uh, that's just where it's at. You know, um, however they use me is how they use me. What role did they sell you on, and what do you feel like you can bring to this team? Uh, I feel like I can bring everything, you know what I mean? Uh, we have a lot of guys, a lot of versatility, man. I just could be one of those guys that, you know, used in the mix playing a four or five. We play smaller. Um, you know, uh, Kuz can play his natural position at the three a little bit more, you know, just giving us uh, more lineups to, to use.